Good morning, Elon. Breaking overnight, a stampede left hundreds dead outside the holy city of Mecca. More details to come. And one country is preparing for the end of the world? We'll break down the top headlines that you need to know to start your day. As Elon's weather begins to cool down, we're heating it up in the kitchen. Take a trip with us to Colombia and we'll show you how to make an authentic Latino dish. And the ELN Morning Concert Series continues this week. We're welcoming Eli Kronovit back to Studio B. Coming at you live on ESTV, ELN Morning starts right now. And later in the show, we found a place where students can have a wrong answer and still be right. So this is a space where it's okay to fail. In fact, it's expected. Elon Local News starts right now. And while you may only see him on the court, Coach Matheny once had a career on the field. We'll have his story coming up. The Alamance Burlington School System has named their Principal of the Year, and it's an Elon graduate working right down the road. Joe Farrell, a 1996 graduate, is in his fifth year as Principal at Walter M. Williams High School and was nominated for the award by his staff. Farrell says one of the school's successes, which may have helped him win the award, is their increasing graduation rates. Since he came to Williams, the graduation rate has increased from 72% to roughly 90%. While our Thanksgiving break may have gotten bigger this year, your carry-on suitcase size has not. I have some tips on how you can pack your bag to the fullest. Coming up on Elon Local News, confronting racial slurs. And they drove off and I just stood there. We'll bring you the details on a campus conversation about race. A push for gender equality, sororities, fraternities, and drinking. And a student reaching for new heights. In a bad position, they're just like, Chris, what am I doing? Like. You could easily die right now. What it takes to make it to the top. Instead of bringing down the house, Elon students this weekend were honored for putting them up. This weekend, Elon's chapter of Habitat for Humanity completed their 24th house. The new house is located on Foster Street in Burlington. Associate Executive Director of Alamance Habitat for Humanity, Kathy Lamb, says that without the work of Elon volunteers, these houses would never get built. Elon is currently testing a new app that allows you to watch your favorite shows, but not on a typical television. The app is called Philo and allows students to watch live TV on a variety of devices, including laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Students will also be able to record their favorite shows with Philo DVR. The app was created by Harvard University students who wanted to access more television. The university is testing the new service provider with students who live in the Danley neighborhood. Sophomore Jordan Hunter says the entertainment on the go is very convenient. Elon admission staff, the financial planning office, and student tour guides began moving into the new Inman Welcome Center this morning. While the new tenants are moving in now, prospective students won't be in the building until February 6th. Admission says the building is expected to be completely furnished and finished by May 1st, the date Elon will officially dedicate the building. A new tree stands outside Danley K as a tribute to an old friend. Friends and family of Elon student Trent Stetler remembered his life Saturday with a tree planting ceremony and memorial. <laughs> Students told stories about Stetler and the impact he had on others' lives. Stetler died last January and is believed to have taken his own life. And now he is remembered by the tree outside his freshman dorm and in his friends' memories. Well, speaking of the Princess of Pop, check out this video that has gone viral. Here's the scoop. Seven-year-old Dylan Barnes appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show fiercely dancing to Taylor Swift's hit song, Shake It Off. And let me tell you, he is a way better dancer than I could ever attempt to be. Earlier this month, Taylor decided to visit Dylan at his home to see him in action, and she just could not help herself, so she had to join in on the fun. Let me just say, I'm not surprised that Taylor is in our What's Trending multiple times Always, today, yeah. but... This is the best way she could have been it in is. it, am I it's right? It is, it's good, yeah, and I love like the feel-good stories like that. Like I like how she wants to like see her fans and she wants to be involved in like who right? her fans are. I yeah. know, that kid is actually my spirit animal, so I'm very happy that his wish <laughs> came true. You should true. bring him on the show. Ooh, there's He'll a video. Next. He'll be there next. I love it.